wow. This is a 2018 Range Rover, and it is a seriously serious rig. It's a five liter supercharged V8, so super fast, but also very smooth and comfortable on the road and off-road. This is what Range Rovers are known for. They are just fantastic vehicles, but they're really expensive. Really expensive, ridiculously expensive. Ooh, that's nice. Now, $104,000 is the starting price. It goes way up from there is out of reach for most of us, but there are plenty of hoopty Range Rovers out there. And normally I'm the guy telling you to buy these cheap old things because it's a big savings off of new, but this is the first time that I'm going to say, for the love of God, do not buy an old used Range Rover. They are total nightmares. This one's actually mine. I bought it on the reality show. It's a 2004. It has tons of problems. And the reason this video exists is because I was having lunch with my friend JR here. He's got this 95 Range Rover and we were debating which one of our old Range Rovers was worse. He's a YouTuber also. Watch JR go. If you go to his channel, you'll see a video actually he just posted where we check out the, the Fireburn Ferrari and you get to see a car that I bought that I haven't even posted on the channel yet. So go check out his channel. He's a kind of a catch-all. He's a moto vlogger. He does cars. He does a lot of adventure rally kind of stuff. It's, it's an entertaining channel and another Absolutely. Wichita YouTuber. This is my 1995 Range Rover Classic County LWV with 172,000 miles on it. And it has been beat. County. County. I don't even know why it's called a county. And I called it a country the first few times I was driving it. Really? I always thought it was a country, so that, that shows what I know. Because it's, it's long wheelbase, is right. that what that means. That's, that's it. It's very long. It has more legroom in the back than really anything else I've ever seen. It probably has more legroom than the new one. It looks very nice on at first glance, but same, <laughs> same with mine. 2004 Range Rover. And I guess what we're going to do is we're going to give each other a tour of our Range Rovers. You all get to follow along, and then we'll decide which one is worse. And, <laughs> this one's pretty bad, so. I'll win. <laughs> you no, know, JR, you haven't seen this thing yet. But yeah, from the outside, that's normal with Range Rovers. They, they look great. They look beautiful. Always, look great. Always yes. beautiful. The uh, materials on the outside as far as the metal, they're aluminum, so they don't rust. The paint's actually pretty good quality, usually. And the interiors do age well as far as the leather. Most, most of the time you take care of them, they're, they're okay, but... Uh, it's everything else that, that just that just falls apart. So you'll you'll probably hear it started up. Yeah, let's fire it up. Yeah. Oh, and the mirror. Yeah, the power mirror is held together by two wood screws. That's, That's the only thing keeping it going. But classy move. Yeah. Listen to this. Ah. Tippy tappy. Only for a second. Yeah, rev it. Well, it's, it gets worse the more you drive it. And then the fuel pump is making this weird. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yes. You got your seat all yeah, adjusted this, properly. This seat moves. My seat doesn't move, so. <laughs> well, is... yeah. Adjust your steering wheel there. Right, you got it in the right position. Uh, I don't think that's happening. Nope. It's dead, Jim. <laughs> and of course, the obligatory check engine light. <laughs> Well, you can't actually see any of the other lights on the dash. They're all yeah. BMW pixels out. <laughs> Correct. You don't really know how many miles are on this thing. It's 150... Something nine. 59? Could be a three or an eight. Probably, yeah. Quite bad. Dead pixels there, dead pixels here. Uh, the the trim, it has a fake wood cover on everything, but some for some reason, the Range Rovers of this era, the finish would just come off of everything and just uh, make this thing... That look like total garbage. But the leather is nice. Still, it gets a lot worse when you drive it. Just just feel free. I can't get this cup holder to go back in. At least this cup holder's fixed. Yeah. That's the, that's the gimmickiest cup holder I've ever seen. Hey. I don't know who designed that. Floor it. Oh, it's floored. It's not going anywhere. It's not. <laughs> is that a Range Rover trademark? Because mine doesn't go anywhere either. <laughs> 35. <laughs> it's it's really screwed up. It's because of the variable valve timing that Vanos isn't functioning at all. So at all. nothing. I didn't know that could be disabled. I didn't know it either. I yeah. thought it just broke and destroyed the engine, but this one's just yeah. 
going. A little bit of body roll going on. Oh, yeah, it doesn't have the air ride anymore. Oh, the air ride's gone? Yes. Mm. Yes, these things had air suspension that was a total nightmare. Absolutely. And uh, I think it broke one too many times. Do whatever you want. Yeah, hang it left. Yeah, I think it broke one too many times and somebody swapped it over for springs. Common thing to do. <laughs> I think when I bought this thing, the seller just did a little happy dance. They probably invited over the whole neighborhood and was just celebrating. It's gone. They found a moron. So yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It's the basically the engine itself totals the car. Yes. It it really this thing, if it were nice, it'd be worth four, five, six thousand dollars. I know the sun's yeah, blinding yeah, us right yeah. now. But either you could drive this thing until the motor lets go and then get a junkyard motor for three, four thousand and have pay another couple grand to get it swapped in. Or you can have a mechanic tear apart this existing motor and fix it, and it's still four, five, six grand to go through and, and do that with the labor. I so you'd only be in at ten thousand dollars to have a mediocre truck. Exactly. So you bet you have right now you are driving a completely total Range Rover. It's a beautiful Range Rover, but it's total. So it survived your test drive, but it did. really any second that engine is just gonna let go. And I don't know what to do with it. I can't sell it to anybody. I could sell it for parts to someone, but I really couldn't sell it to someone to think that they can drive it. I, I'm thinking I'm just gonna bury it. That's actually a good idea. We, all it kinds just, of reverse beeps. It just doesn't stop. Oh, the parking sensors are like disconnected? I think it fell into the bumper, and so the parking sensor always thinks it's about to hit something. Well, don't hit the expense. You can hit yours. You, yeah, no, hit, nobody yeah, cares. I don't care if we hit mine. Don't hit, yeah. So you couldn't hose it off for me, huh? Yeah, sorry. I mean, I think they're supposed to look dirty all the time, aren't they? Yeah. This thing's cool. It's like an old battle tank. It's. <laughs> yeah, that seems right. <laughs> hey, do you have one of those wood screws out of your mirror? <laughs> yeah, probably. Here, we'll put this back on. Right. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Don't worry about it. It goes right about there. You okay. You shove the bottom in. And then, uh, yeah. Okay, that's that's a little screw and glue thing. It's, it's these things are supposed to be the rock solid, yeah, you know. This is what the Queen would have driven around in World War II or whatever. Not really, but, but yeah. I think the grill might be the least of its issues. Actually, it is the least of its issues. This has aluminum body. It doesn't rust. Well, you think it doesn't rust, but somehow there's rust here and here, which is this is a this is my lock <laughs> system that holds the tailgate shut. But don't worry about that. It works fine. It doesn't latch. Yeah, it doesn't do anything actually. So, it's uh, rusting here, and it's yeah. All this rust we've got. All the frame around the yeah. tailgate is just rotting away. Well, no, my finger's almost going through it. Hey, it's that crunchy. It seems like quick access to the tail light, if you ask me. And you paid how much for this? Yeah, fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, fifteen hundred. You idiot! And it's salvage title too, and it's like a good <laughs> deal for an ROC. <laughs> no. ROC pretty expensive. No. Well, these are pretty simple though, mechanically. Basic, you know. Sure. It's got a 4.2 liter V8, and uh, it's powered by steam now. I don't know if you know. I, <laughs> steam. I'll start it up for you. Let's see it. Yeah. Steam. Lots of new stuff. The most immaculate service records you have ever seen on all of the seals. There's five pages of service. Records. So the previous owner took fantastic care he, of this thing. He tried to take fantastic care of it, but, but there's just no keeping up. You can't. You, you can't keep up. I it's, can't imagine how much he spent. Is that, that's an exhaust leak? It's an exhaust leak. A big one. Rev it up a little bit. All right, let's do that. Uh, if you rev it up enough, it sounds like a Briggs & Stratton lawnmower going down the road. Like yeah. That. That's awful. That's my uh, power yeah. steering fluid there. Power steering is, where's it coming from? I would say this is empty now, the reservoir there. So it's just squirting out from the pump well, you or can, hose? You can, it's coming out of the hose, but you can see it all over the hood and on the air box. And it's kind of everywhere, actually. I had a Ferrari burn. You turn this off. It, enough. <laughs> yeah, stop. Off. So a serious power steering leak. And I've had a Ferrari burn to the ground from this, as you know, and you're still driving it. It seems fine. I don't even have a fire extinguisher, though. That's a good point. Oh, Lord. Well, you don't have the check engine light. It must have burned out. It may have burned <laughs> out, but it may actually just run all right. <laughs> I don't know. 
SRS light, which, oh my God. Yeah, the steering wheel is not exactly clocked straight, if you notice. It's almost a full 90 degrees off. <laughs> and if you want to adjust your seat, don't worry, that doesn't work at all. Not at all. My head's hitting the ceiling and I can't change that. Sorry. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. <laughs> over this, over this, whatever this is. This uh, chitty chitty bang bang is what it is. Steam powered monster. Oh, you pretty chitty bang bang. Chitty chitty bang bang, we love you and our... Is it okay if I floor it? Does Absolutely, it... you should floor it. I think the whole neighborhood's gonna wake up, but... They will wake up. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, whoa! Okay, now... Now I'm centered going the other direction on the steering wheel. Yes. So, you have just about 180 degrees of, of play... Right. ...in the steering gear box. Might need a steering box at this point. You think? If maybe. Pretty quick, right? <laughs> Are you sure that's an exhaust leak? <laughs> it could be a compression leak, but I think it's an exhaust leak. Yeah, uh, I think you win, buddy. I might. I think you win by a lot. This is a total dumpster fire of a Range Rover you have here. I love it. Yeah, so we have two totally unsellable Range Rovers that we spent way too much money on. They're basically junk. They're, nobody's gonna want them. That's true, but I sold mine. You sold yours. I did. For how much? Fifteen hundred dollars. Well, you paid for it. What I paid for it, yeah. To who? One of my friends that wants to build a, a big off-road rig. I yeah. guess he's buying wheels and tires <laughs> instead of fixing the truck. He's not going to be your friend much longer. Yeah, that's probably true. So, uh, hey, this this egg has magically appeared in my hand, and this is your brain. Well, then, actually, this isn't your brain. This is this is your nest egg. This is your bank account, and this is your bank account with an old Range Rover. Do not, do, do not buy an old Range Rover. Thank you. It's good advice. Thank you. Thank yep. you for watching. And that made a lot more of a mess than I wanted it, it to. It go everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. It.